Hotel Transylvania 2 is directed by Gendy, Gendy, Tartakovsky. This guy is basically the king of my childhood. He made some of the greatest animated cartoons when I was growing up. He was involved with Powerpuff Girls, the Star Wars Clone Wars animated show, Samurai Jack. This better be important, woman. You are interrupting my very delicate calculations. The guy knows his shit about animation. He directed the last one as well, which I thought was actually surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be in a film that I think critics unfairly hated on. In this film, Adam Sandler plays Dracula and his daughter Mavis, voiced by Selena Gomez, is now married and they have a kid. And since Mavis, a vampire, is married to a human, there's some questioning going on. Is this kid a vampire or is he a human? So a large portion of the movie revolves around the dad arguing about the fact that he wants the kid to be a vampire the mom wanting him to be whatever he wants. And you know what? This film is not that bad at all. Another film that's being kind of hated on by critics, not terribly, but I feel like this film is unjustly getting that response because Sandler co-wrote the screenplay and of course he voices the main character. The film is loads better than any film with Adam Sandler, Kevin James, and David Spade. It's actually a very clever movie with very fast paced direction. That's something that Tartakovsky does brilliantly. Some people are saying the humor in this film is very family guy-esque, where it like cuts back to something, you know, a flash back, someone mentioned something, it cuts to it. People who are saying that clearly have no idea about cartoons in the 90s. Tartakovsky has been using humor like that and he's very good at it. He did it way before Family Guy ever did. And this movie is genuinely funny. I actually laughed out loud quite a bit. There's some amazing adult humor in there, a great joke when a kid is watching this Sesame Street-like program. It's one of those blink and you miss it type jokes and it just, it floored me. I was like, that is way more than I expected to see in a family film. And there's a lot of humor like that. It's not a film just for kids. There are a lot of jokes that are gonna go straight over their heads. Basically, if you like the first Hotel Transylvania, you'll probably enjoy this film as well because they're very similar. That's a flaw in a way because there's nothing really new with this second film. But as I already stated, if you enjoyed the first film and you're not bothered by the fact that the second one is basically the same, Okay, have fun. Now the film is attempting to go a little deeper with its themes than most animated films like this. The kid, is he a vampire? Is he not a vampire? Can the family accept him if he's not a vampire? Can the family accept him if he is a vampire? Which also leads me to my main issue with the movie and I can't really get into it because it's a spoiler, but something involving the ending felt to me anyway, like a betrayal of the film's entire message. And that's just me probably looking way too deep into Hotel Transylvania 2. <laughs> but that's just the way my brain works. All in all, guys, like I said, if you like the first one, you'll probably enjoy this one too. The animation is very good. It's a very fast paced movie. Adam Sandler is actually really good as Dracula. I liked him a lot in this movie. I really liked the addition of zombie ushers that kind of wander around the hotel <laughs> take people's belongings. Really good jokes, really good humor, some good parental humor as well. I'm gonna give Hotel Transylvania 2 a B. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'm gonna be back very soon with my review for The Martian. In fact, that's gonna be up this Monday. Look forward to that, guys. Thank you so much again. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.